Okay, so for this question, what I've done is I've sketched the information we're given because I think it's more visual helpful. Okay, we've got our unit vectors i and j in an easterly and northerly direction respectively. And we're told the particle starts at this point O when t equals zero, moves with an initial velocity of two minus three meters per second. And it travels from O to A with constant acceleration, where the position vector of A is 7i minus 10j. I've written it as a coordinate though, okay? So it reaches A after two seconds. And we've got to show that the magnitude then of that constant acceleration is 2.5 meters per second per second. So in order to do a question like this, I'm going to use a SUVAT equation because we're moving with constant acceleration. And so I'd write down those variables, S, U, V, A, and T, and let's see what we've got for any of them. S, remember, is the displacement, and we know that is 7i minus 10j, so we could put that in, 7i minus 10j. U, the initial velocity, we've got that. It's 2i minus 3j, so pop that one in there. The final velocity, v, well, we don't want it, and we don't know it, actually, so we can just leave that blank. The acceleration, well, we're after the acceleration vector, so I'll put a question mark there. And the time is 2 seconds, okay? t equals 2. So when I look at these variables. What's the SUVAT equation that leaves out the final velocity? Well, it is this one here, s equals ut plus a half a t squared. I've underlined my vectors, as you can see here, okay? Right, so using this equation then, I've just got to substitute my values in. And if I substitute those values in, we've got s, the displacement, equals u, times t plus a half a times t squared. And all I need to do now is just say simplify the right hand side. If I do that, I'm going to end up with 7 minus 10 equals 4 minus 6. And then we've got half of 4 here, which will give me the 2, 2 times the acceleration vector a. And so if I rearrange this to get a, just subtract the 4 minus 6 vector from both sides, and then that will leave me with 2a, so I just divide by 2 or multiply that result by a half. And you end up with a equaling a half of the vector 3 minus 4. Okay? Now, you could leave the acceleration like that, or you might want to just finish this off. Half of the 3 is 1.5, and the half of the minus 4 is minus 2. Personally, I'm going to leave it in this form because we're now going to go on and work out the magnitude of that vector, and I can see that leaving it in this form is a lot easier, purely because I can keep the constant a half outside. I'm going to use Pythagoras' theorem, by the way, uh, and that's going to be a half the square root of the sum of the squares of these two components. And this is a familiar 3, 4, 5 triangle. Okay, so already I know that the magnitude of this vector is 5. But I leave it up to you. You can check it out by doing the magnitude of A as being equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of 1.5 squared plus 2 squared. Okay, but I'm going to have it then as a half of the root of all of 3 squared plus 4 squared. Notice I'm stripping off the negative sign here, okay? Don't need it. Now, as I said to you before, this is going to be the root of uh, 25, brings us down to 5, the familiar 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the magnitude of the acceleration is a half of 5. Okay, so doing that, you end up with 2.5, as we had to show up here. Don't forget those units, 2.5 meters per second per second. So, hope that's been able to uh, 
give you an idea how to do that if it was causing you any problems.